Welcome to iLecture Online. Here we're going to solve a system of linear equations where we have two equations and two unknowns, the variables x and y. So in order to do that, we're going to use what we call the method of Gaussian elimination. And so we're going to do that with a 2x2 two two matrix, or at least an augmented 2x2 two two matrix. So we're going to rewrite this in terms of a matrix format, which can be done by taking the coefficients 2, 3, 3, and negative 2, and then augmenting it with the constants right here, 7 and 4. I like to draw a line here to delineate those constants from the coefficients of x and y because I know what I'm trying to do. I'm going to take this matrix and by using the method of Gaussian elimination, I'm going to get ones across the diagonal and zeros everywhere else. So starting out, I want to turn this here into a one. I can do that by dividing the first row by uh, two. So row one is going to become one half times row one. I'm simply going to divide that row by two. When I do that, I get the following matrix. I end up with a 1, a 3 halves, a 7 halves, and the second row is unchanged. Like so. The next thing I want to do is turn this into a 0. I can do that by simply multiplying the top row by the negative of this number and then adding it. In other words, row 2 will become negative 3. I take the negative of this number, multiply times the row with the 1 in it, and adding it to row 3 to eliminate that 3. See what happens. Of course, I need to do the same to everything else in that row. So that means the matrix will now become as follows. The first row does not change, so I get a 1, a 3 halves, a 7 halves, but here, negative 3 times 1 added to 3 gives me 0. Negative 3 times this gives me a minus 9 over 2. Added to negative 2, that's another minus 4, that's a minus 13 over 2. So again, negative 3 times this gives me minus 9 over 2, and added to the minus 2, that's a minus 4 over 2. Minus 9 plus a minus 4 is a minus 13 over 2. And finally, for the last number here, negative 3 times this is a minus 21 over 2. Added to 4, which is a plus 8 over 2. Minus 21 plus 8 is a minus 13 over 2. All right, you say, wow, that looks pretty, pretty mean, right? But don't worry about it because it'll come out in the end. The next thing we want to do is turn this into a 1. I can do that by multiplying this row by 2 divided by 13, or actually a negative 2 divided by 13. So I'm going to take row 2 and replace it by negative 2 over 13 times row 2. That, I turned that into a 1, and you can see I'll turn that into a 1 as well. All right, let's go ahead and do that. So my matrix becomes the following matrix. Notice that the first row will not change. I'm not meddling with the first row, so I get a 1, a 3 halves, and a 7 halves. Here I already have a 0. Multiplying minus 13 over 2 by a minus 2 over 13 turns that into a 1, and does the same to that number over there. All right, so now I have a 1 here. All I need to do now is get rid of this, turn that into a 0. I can do that by taking my first row and replacing it by the negative of that number times the row with the 1 in it and adding it to the original row, row 1. If I do that, I get the following matrix. The second row does not change. I get a 0, a 1, and a 1. This 1 stays there. Now, negative 3 halves times 1 is negative 3 halves. Added to positive 3 halves gives me 0. Negative 3 halves times a 1 is negative 3 halves. Added to a positive 7 halves gives me a 4 halves, which is equal to 2. And there's the end. I can now say that since this row represents my x value, or I should say this column, and this column represents my y, I can say that 1 times x equals 2, and 1 times y equals 1. So x equals 2, y equals 1, and that's the solution. All right, now you may say, why go to this trouble? Why spend so much effort into solving such a simple system of linear equations? And I must admit, for a 2 by 2, for a 2 equation, 2 unknowns, it's probably a little bit mundane, a little bit extra work. However, learning this technique makes it really great because once you start doing 3 equations and 3 unknowns and 4 equations and 4 unknowns, it is a lot easier to use this technique than to use the algebraic technique from before. All right, so here we know we can see how to do a 2 by 2 equation. And now the next one, we're going to do another 3 by 3 equation, in other words, 3 equations and 3 unknowns to see how to use the method of Gaussian elimination to solve systems of linear equations. And that's coming up next.